What is going on everyone? My name is Eskimo and today I'm going to be bringing you a gameplay breakdown over a 1v1 video. Now this isn't really the ideal gameplay breakdown for a 1v1 video and uh, and the reason why is that he actually ends up giving up in the third round but pretty much what I'm doing right here is I'm pr trying to figure out where he's at so I look to my left and see he's not going to be pushing me. And I look at nades and I see he's not over there so I'm like where the heck could he be so I'm pretty much just going to play it safe. I'm going to whip out my lancer and try to figure out where he's at. I see he's coming towards me a little bit. You know I th I'm trying to I whip out my incense, try to pick up a quick little incense kill, so hoping he didn't see me, but he does see me. So I'm going to go wide on checkout with my Lancer. But I see he's going to go over to Nate, to Nate, so I'm going to try to pick up a quick little incense kill. Bitch? Fortunately, I do miss it, and with the second incense, I'm going to try and draw him out. So I'm going to try and draw him out behind the cover, but he throws a nade. So he draws me out of cover, and he throws a second grenade, which could have possibly killed me, but... I run behind cover, hold right hand advantage, shoot him once, shoot him twice, and shoot him the third time, and down him. So I pick up the down right there, In the second round I alternate strategies. I'm not going to constantly push platform, and I sometimes I'll alternate it, like sometimes I'll go platform, then the next round I'll go ch ch er, to nades, or sometimes I'll push through electronics. It's just pretty much what I'm feeling like at the time, because it's just like a game of chess. You have to be constantly thinking ahead. You have to predict where your opponent's going in. This time I predicted that will be going nades because he played defensively at platform. So I figured he'd be going to nades. So I active my lancer. I'm waiting for him to go and pick up nades. And I down him. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing right here is I'm going to go wide to make sure he doesn't have grenades out. And I end up sweeping up the down. So yeah, this third round he ends up letting me kill him. Uh, for some reason he gives up. But... This is actually the first map that we played. We played another map, which was Hotel, and pretty much I won the entire series or the entire game. Uh, eight rounds to one, he ended up killing me one round because he had a frag tag. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, that's the only reason I died. But yeah, pretty much what I was trying to do right there is, you know, I figured he might try to go platform that round. Because I didn't know he was going to give up, but, so uh, you know, I just throw an incense on him while he's going to go over to nades. Maybe he was letting me pick up the killer. He's going to pick up nades, but pretty much it looked like he just gave up and he's giving me the kill anyways. But pretty much what I'm going to be doing from my with my 1v1s from now on, guys, is like, even though somebody suggested down below in the comments, it was like, yeah, you should really do a gameplay breakdown over your 1v1s. And, you know, I, like, I was like, you know what, that's actually a great idea, but I thought of something better. And I'm actually going to be doing a live com over my 1v1s from now on, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But yeah, as you can see, this is, game is coming to a close. I thought about beating him out, but I was like, no, I'll just pick up frags. I'll frag tag him and walk away like a boss. But as always, guys, I've been Eskimo, and I will see you next time.